All right, for the most part, this is pretty much where I left off yesterday, although I did make a few changes and, and experiment a little bit with it um, when I wasn't recording. But the biggest thing I changed so far is all these constraints right here, which were point constraints, which a point constraint can rotate on any axis, essentially. It's just like a, a link, I guess you could say. But this right here, I replaced them with a hinge constraint, and then I aligned it so that the z-axis, which it rotates around the z-axis, is perpendicular to the line of uh, rotation of the joint. So that's why every one of them is at a slight angle. Now this made it a little bit more stable. Now there was I made a little oversight the other day when I was trying to set this up. And originally I had this set up as a convex hole. Now once I straightened it or changed it to cylinder it became a little bit more stable. But it was still not exactly stable. And I couldn't quite figure out why even though it was right in front of my face. Look at the weight of the tires. The weight of the tires is extremely low. I mean extremely low. I mean, realistically, e these tires are going to be six foot tall, and they're like at least three feet this way, maybe four feet. And the big, huge aluminum wheel, or steel wheel, whichever, is in the center. I mean, you're talking easily in the ballpark of 250 kilograms minimum. But I'm just going to go ahead and bump these up to 250. <clears throat> and let me check some other things this right here on the y-axis I want to go ahead and turn that off completely I don't want the constraint to try to limit the y-axis at all and uh now I have this set to three, which is three for both, and the y-axis uh, stiffness, that's probably pretty close. And I'm gonna keep that the same, I'm gonna run this and see what it does. Now, you can see how much more stable it is now. Just runs right off the edge and runs straight to it pops a wheelie a little bit whenever it first accelerates but that's because I have it going pretty fast now let me go ahead and put the uh, road cage or <clears throat> activate the road cage and all that stuff got a little engine back there <laughs> and we'll see what it looks like you get a better idea of the compression. Now the compression is probably a little too stiff, I would imagine. It looks a little too stiff. So I'm going to change this to, let's say 30,000. And then change the other one to 30,000. And we'll see what that looks like. Alright, that seems to be working quite a bit better. Let's see what the weight of the uh, four link brace is set to. 750k. Let's bump it up to 10,000. Because realistically, these trucks weigh about 10,000 kilograms. And the suspension pretty much just eating up those bumps, just like it's supposed to. But you can see it's no longer turning right or left or swaying back and forth. Now, just to be sure, let's 
make sure it's actually articulating like it's supposed to. Uh, let me, I need to do this first. <clears throat> I need to turn off the motors. Set the velocity to zero. And that way it essentially will have the brakes turned on. And now let's add mash cube grab put down here size and let me see where I'm, all right now I need to look at it from the side because those are blocking my view size grab put it like and bring it all the way down to the surface control a apply scale rigid body I'm gonna make it a passive so we don't have to deal with it sliding out and go to seven top side view shift D bring it over here and we'll see what this looks like now now I do need to go ahead and set these to box and set the friction probably kind of high. Uh, let's just set it to one. All right, and we'll see what that looks like. See the art articulation is, let me turn off this. Uh, it's still a little stiff on the Y axis. So let me go to the spring and let me go to the spring and adjust this all right now let me uh take just this to one tenth of the stiffness as before and then we'll see what that looks like now look at that articulation and it just kind of rolls off unlike before where it was very unstable that's just working so much better than before but anyway I'm gonna make this video a little bit short considering yesterday this was what um, 30 plus minutes I just kind of got caught up in it and I kept talking and talking and talking and I'm not going to do that today. But anyway, I just want to show you the progress I'm making on this and way more stable. I'm, I'm very happy with the way this is working at this point. But anyway, later people.